All right, we've sketched and blocked out where we want our text to be. We have a good idea of what our text will be, like what the actual words will be, uh, all balancing around our spot illustration. Our spot illustration does not need to be central. It's just a good uh, default place to start. But if you find you really can't do the text blocking you want with it in the center, maybe you play with it somewhere else, right? And you decide how better to use your, your text. But either way, we take this, ah, we saved just a JPEG of it, right? And then I'm going to save the actual poster layout for later, once I have a vector of my type. And I want to save this as assignment eight, poster layout, where we're combining our spot illustration with our text. I'm going to save it to the desktop and then put it in my assignment 8 folder. Okay, for now, as long as we have a JPEG of our sketch, of our text blocking, I can now close Photoshop. I don't need it. Instead, I've downloaded these different typefaces. I'm going to put them into my assignment 8 folder. So I've got one here. I've got one here. They download as zip files, which are compressed. And you can go to downloads and say open in Finder on a Mac and bring them all over. You don't need duplicates. I accidentally got two of Cream Puff. I don't need two of Cream Puff. All right. So now just click them to unzip them. And some of these typefaces come with nothing at all except for the typeface like cream puff it's just what's called a ttf file there are also otf files tf stands for text file and the others are coming with folders and then in the folder you will find the ttf or otf files this one has italic bold these are the fonts right so the typeface is equestria but the fonts are bold italic bold italic and and plain you select all of them and you just double click on a Mac. And then you say install the font. Right? And it will install them in what's called the font book. Now, this is what I found with the new operating systems with Defont. Defont just hasn't updated uh, all of its security tags. And so we are using it at your own risk when you use it on your own computer. But I am oh, allowing right. you to use it in this lab because I've found that all of these work as they used to. It's just there's new security protocols. So I went ahead and checked them, and then they'll come in. So those were Equestria. So then I will find that in my font book, and then I'll have all the different, that's the typeface, then I'll have all the different versions of it here. And if it's in my font book, then it will work in Photoshop, it will work in Illustrator. We're going to use it in Illustrator first. Now, why do I copy these and download them into my folder? Well, it's very easy to forget what the typeface is called, right? And to have a hard time finding it. And you don't want to have to scroll through and recognize it. So Equestria is what I'm going to use for the top. So what I do is I'm going to label it top. <laughs> and I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to label it green. OK, there, this is another one, Whirly Bird. I don't think I'll use that one, so I'm not going to put anything. Roundy rainbows. That might be useful. You might use six different typefaces in building yours, right? Uh, the cream puff one. Let's just install it. It's straightforward. And this is for the my part. Install checked. And then make sure you can find it. There it is. That's just for the lowercase my. So I'm going to put a bottom my make that green okay they're green once they've been installed now the my little pony one i have two two versions here i'm going to install both of them so 
So I have MLP regular and MLP magic is friendship regular, right? So one is all capitals. The updated one is, is lowercase and. This one's a little bit more symmetrical. Anyway, what I kind of like about it is it almost looks bone-like bone on things like the, the Y. And I, I like how the Y has the tail already. That'll be a nice vector element I can play with, whereas this Y doesn't. So the one I want is MLP regular. So what I might do, I think that's this one, right? Yeah. So what I, and I like all the little hearts cut out of it. Uh, that's tough. Yeah, so really I'm probably going to use both of them. Um, so I'm going to mark that. I'm going to use this at the bottom. So I put it into the title. And that's my main font for the bottom. And then here's another My Little Pony one. Yeah, I think I got it. Okay, so I have three, three different fonts. I can arrange them by tag so I can see all of them that I marked green. Now, what do I do with it? Well, I'm going to go into Illustrator. And what I actually want to do is go back to Assignment 7 and find your EPS line work and open that up in Illustrator. And some of you, your line work, you know, it could be cleaned up a little bit. Those of you who have white shapes in your line work, you can get rid of those. Those of you who have little nicks, there's, you can still improve the line work to our spot illustration. We can add more texture to it. We can add more variation. But what we are going to do is we are going to add our text into it with type tools and start making decisions about the size of the type, the spacing between the letters, what's called kerning, the letting, which is the spacing between the lines of type, and we're going to do it all in Illustrator. And it's all going to be like a word processor, where it's not going to tell us if we spelled things correctly or incorrectly. That's a, a downfall of Adobe products. It's not a Microsoft Word product. It doesn't have spell check, which is hard for dyslexic creators like myself. But we have to put the spell checking on ourselves. It helps us be creative. <laughs> and what we can do is now think of our sketch, right? So what I'm going to do is take my JPEG of my assignment eight sketch, and I'm going to bring that into my line work. Where did I put it? Assignment eight. There it is. So drag and drop it. It will come in as a raster element, just like we've done in the past. It should come in at about the right size. It depends how you outputted things, but even if it doesn't, you can size it. And then I just need to make a layer for it. So make a new layer, drag it into the new layer, and then put it behind your line work. Right. And so it looks like I do want to shrink this a little bit, just so I get a sense of the space it's taking up. This doesn't need to match your original sketch exactly in Photoshop but I do think I want the head to overlap the type a little bit. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and lock this layer so I don't move my line work at all. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and lock that sketch. Now on a new layer, I'm going to do my type faces. So I'm gonna call this in all caps, text layers, or text, I'll put assets. Now, we get to use the type tool. So there's a T underneath the pen tool. Click on the T. Then just click where you want your type to start. It's going to be default, a default typeface at regular at 12 point, because it's going to give you what's called Latin text. So make it large enough so you can see it, but it doesn't need to fill your space yet. And I want you to type in your content. So melting, that's my first one, right? 
That's going to be its own line. I'm going to go ahead and center it. So all the type tools are up at the top. So I center the paragraph. Then I can roughly center it. At any time, I can up the point size. Now, notice when you use lowercase, lowercase letters, Carolingian minuscule, not developed until around 800 in Europe by Charlemagne and the universities he set up, the monasteries. Lowercase letters are not always the most readable. They save space. That's about their only benefit. So on poster designs, especially for main titles, it's often a better, better idea to use all capitals. Right. Now, the space between the capitals is what we call kerning. And if you want to play with it, you just select the letter that you want to um, expand or decrease the space around, and you hold down Option, and then you use your left arrow key and your right arrow key. So if I think there's too much space around the in, I can select it well, it's a, as a type tool, hold down Option, and then do the, the left arrow key to narrow it on this side and the right arrow key to expand it. Now, what if it's the space in between two particular letters? I can do that. But it matters what typeface you're using. So that's really generic. I can select that. I can copy it. Command C, and then I can say edit paste and get another oh, copy of it. Let's see, where did it paste? Select it, copy it, and then paste it. So I have two copies, right? If you don't paste in place, it will offset it. And then using the T, using the text tool, this is what's great about text tools, is I can edit it. Now the problem is, as long as it's a text tool, these vectors are coded in. So I can change them, I can change the, the point size, the typeface, but I'm not going to be able to customize the individual letters. So that's the next step. Now, I don't like that typeface very much. I found typefaces I liked better. I installed them. What are they? They are Equestria and My Little Pony and Cream Puff. <laughs> right? So up here I was thinking of Equestria. So let me use my text, my type tool. Let's select it. And instead of Myriad Pro, I can even just type it in. So I have these options. And just as I hover over them, Illustrator will show me how they look. So I don't think I want italic. I think I want bold equestrian, right? What's funny is this is a capital I in equestria bold. This is a lowercase i in equestria bold. There is no such thing as a capital I in equestria bold. And if I think that's a problem, I can create my own. So what if I do a lowercase l? Well, it's an uppercase l. What if I do an exclamation point? Right. So that might serve for now, but let's make it larger. OK, now let's play with the space around using Option and the arrow keys. Give it some space to breathe. Let's make the M really large. But I don't get to control where it's lined up, right? Because this is just a basic type tool on a straight line. So that M is going to be above instead of below like I want it. So we're going to learn how to customize. I'm also going to make the M less bold. And I might try with making the M italic. Yeah, I think that will work. Now let's give the M a little bit more space. Hold down Option, give it some space. Let's make the E a little bit bigger. So now you're thinking like a typographer, because when whoever designed the typeface was just designing it for, for standard use. But whatever letters you're actually using together, you get to make the decisions about what looks best. 
and I will turn that exclamation point into